Today, when we get dressed in the morning, here's what we worry about. Do my socks match my exuberant mood? Is this shirt clean enough? And is that a pleat or did my iron go rogue? But soon we may have some different dressing priorities, such as, is my wrist getting Wi-Fi? Or where did I put my Bluetooth blue jeans? We're in the midst of a technology revolution. It was only a matter of time before innovation collided with fashion and functionality. We all like cool gadgets, but now we want to wear them and look amazing. Wearable tech is the latest craze putting engineers and designers together to create devices like the Pebble Smartwatch. The idea came to Eric Mijakovsky while he was riding his bike. I was constantly getting calls on my phone and emails and text messages while I was cycling. Instead of having to pull my phone out while I was biking, I wanted to be able to just glance down at my watch and see what was happening. That was the original reason why we started working on this. Pebble became one of the first major crowdfunding success stories, raising $10.2 million from nearly 70,000 investors in over 150 countries. Clearly, there was a huge market waiting for this piece of wearable tech. With every generation of computing from mainframes to desktops to laptops to smartphones, you've seen computing get closer and closer to the body. Pebble lets you run apps on the watch that connect you to things in your life. There's a Nest app, so you can control your thermostat and other things around your house right from your wrist. I recently wrote an app that lets me control the door lock at our office with my Pebble, which is kind of cool. But what about when you want to clam it up? How can you look fab and still stay connected? Zazzy is the first fashionable accessory that discreetly allows you to receive notifications about calls or texts while your smartphone stays inside your purse. Zazzy is the brainchild of Judy Tomlinson, and she had a very good reason to create it. And I started to see a lot of women holding the phone in their hands while they're walking the dog at the dinner tables and just everywhere, and I just thought, you know, we really want to keep these phones in our purses and then have a wearable where we can just know what is happening with our phone. Women like things fashionable. So not only do you have to have the technology, but then you have to dress it up with fashion so that women would enjoy wearing it. This wearable tech comes in the form of stylish pendants, bracelets, and rings. And it even lets you know when you're, perish the thought, separated from your phone. I had a meeting and uh, I was on my way and then halfway in my car I realized I forgot my phone and then I knew I have to put that feature in. How far can wearable tech take us in the future? Let's be honest, not as far as a sleek gray suit, slightly short tie and a pair of low-tech glasses can take you. I'll meet you there.